what is going on my good people this is your main man ben here happy friday guys this is going to be an epic weekend because it's a celebration <clears throat> remember the episode when we went to the vet because of lito good news his spank is back he is all over the place barking for the ups usps he went to the deck yesterday with beckett we played we walked in the street um yeah he's barking with the other dogs and god is good lito yagami is back and this is friday today it's going to be a good day because we are going to talk about two gears that i use that i trust and this is with regards to us going to mexico this coming spring break next month so we're going to talk about two cameras that i trust this is going to be mainly focused on vlogging um somewhat cinematics as well but mainly for vlogging because we're going to be walking around like what we did in the philippines last year and that was a good run except that we don't have the smaller camera but i know you guys are familiar if you follow this channel of course if you haven't been checking out my stuff don't forget to hit that like button if you have not yet click that subscribe it helps our little channel it's a good thing to have we are content creators here man we don't have any limits we don't have any rules we create that's what we have we're here thank you for watching thank you we're gonna talk about the osmo action man this camera has a lot of critics but i really don't care about the critics because this thing is a stud um dj made this and we had some reviews in it last year and all I can say is that this is perfect vlogging kit right here. Having the, this extra LCD screen right here, as you can see, with our A6100, we're still testing it, but so far, this thing is stud. Having this little screen in front, a capacity to frame yourself or frame your shot if you're not in front of the camera or behind the camera, I say, you have that capability to look at yourself. I can frame it, you know, it's good to have that's why i picked this versus the gopro 7 black last year but overall this has been a performer and we are going to test this as a vlog camera our second camera would be the trusty my go-to camera studio outside the country vlogging is the masterful lumix g85 going to the philippines especially Coron, el nido in the beach dust proof weather sealed it has this metal frame a little bit of plastic in the back but this is kit lens right here the kit lens that's included is all metal it's weather sealed you can shoot in the rain if you want but i really don't shoot in the rain i brought this to get my sleeve my half sleeve shout out to my artist lloyd if you need some tats work hey man this guy is legit I can give you his contacts. I got some reviews in the back. Um, check out the link here. We made a little bit of a mini document series. He's the man. If you're in the Philippines, check him out. Shout out to my main man, artist Lloyd Lampaya, man. I must say, this is one of the best underrated camera right now because there's so many stuff that comes out, especially in the camera realm, like my A6100. But if we talk about portability, if we talk about value of money, if we talk about image stabilization, this thing I must say is the best bang for the buck in 2020. Why? Five axis image stabilization, meaning, let me, let me do this real quick. If I open this up, that sensor right there, you see an inside right here? It has a five axis that acts like a shock mount. Five axis, no matter what you do, like, you know, not exaggerating like, pointing it left and right but it stabilizes it in body image stabilization is active in this thing in the sensor itself and on top of that the kit lens has image stabilization as well so you got best bang for your buck two hits combo in one camera we're gonna test this both man and i must say having these two cameras right now for vlogging 
or cinematics is just a treat because this generation, once again, I'm going to state that it's so spoiled. You guys got all the good stuff. <clears throat> 2020 can't imagine 2003 and all that stuff, but we're still blessed. We're still blessed. We're here. I'm going to share some of my thoughts regarding these two cameras. If I may point out to you into the right direction, if you're brave enough to, you know, venture in getting a dedicated camera for vlogging, this might be helpful. So what we are going to do is we're going to set this guys up for vlogging uh, for the DJI Osmo action. We're going to set it up with the video micro microphone. Um, this is from Rode and this thing, man, is a stud passive microphone, good quality, not that expensive. I think you can get this for 50 bucks now. Um, you don't need battery. So we're going to put this in our Osmo action and for a G85 guys, we are going to pair it with the trusty Techstar SGC598. And this shotgun microphone is underrated, but I must say this is one of the best value in the market right now. Powered by AA battery, it has a plus 10 dB and a high pass filter. But we are just going to use it as is. We're not going to enable any of those features. We're just going to turn it on and we're going to try it as a vlogging rig. We're not new to this. Uh, we've been blogging for quite some time and this is the Lumix right here. We're using the Lumix and this is the Osmo Action. So these are two different types of vlogging camera, I must say, because the Osmo Action has this wide capability versus the Lumix's smaller, you know, 1655, I believe. No. 1260 but the conversion of this is you got a plus i mean times 1.6 i believe or times one but the craft factor i must say is that the mirrorless camera isn't going to be that wide but the quality is always there the other hand the osmo action is very wide and you can see these two are perfect complement but once again guys this is just a quick rundown we're going to be using this soon but you're wondering is my main weapons so jedi master so given in our test um i must say that these two cameras are different in a sense that this osmo action can go to spots where the G85 cannot go, meaning if you're going to be putting it into like a skateboard spot, skateboard shots, mainly it's an action camera. That's what's its main purpose and that's its blueprint. It's designed to do action stuff, like, you know, portability. That's why it's called Osmo Action. Doesn't make sense, right? But you don't have full control of the camera. You can adjust the shutter speed, aperture, those things are critical on cinematic shots or, you know, total control. You, you want to have a total control if you want to do some specific jobs. Also, this camera has infinity focus. You don't have that bokeh. You don't have that stuff because it's designed to have a automatic focus for everything. It's a fixed focus camera. You, you can't control that anymore. There is no lens interchangeable, but that's given for the Osmo Action, although, although it has this nice filter in here that you can just remove and replace, you know, you can replace the filter. And we do have ND filters for the front element so that we can control the light that comes in. And it's a polarizer too. So it's good to have, this thing is a stud. I don't know why you're waiting for you know stuff like gopro and all that stuff i'm not a gopro hater but if you're a vlogger just go get the osmo action man i would advise this for users that it's like really on the go does not want to tinker with settings and all that stuff this would be a perfect camera for vlogger osmo action now g85 is for users that a little bit more i would say advanced going ahead um, not limiting yourself just for vlogging um, if you aspire on getting some more cinematic shots there's a lot more to offer in this one three years ago I paid like a lot because it was one of the most latest camera but today 
you can get this camera for at least 600 bucks with the kit lens and this is just a value camera in this year 2020 this is a dark horse camera i'm never going to part of this lumix man I'm, I'm a lumix guy but you know i'm coming back i got the a6100 right now amazing camera by the end of the day the goal is to shoot and vlog um, we create and that what makes us happy you know we share it to the world and this is what we got as a content creator shoot whatever you have what you can afford and that's it but i thank you for watching happy friday it's going to be daylight saving time don't forget about that plus one hour we're gonna lose one hour but winter is almost done take care there guys i know that coronavirus is out there once again always remember god is good all the time peace out